What's up guys and welcome back to Math and Chill. And today we're going to be doing a first ever What's in My Bag video. Let's get started. Okay guys, first thing we're going to be starting out with is the bag obviously. We are using, I think it's called the Bauer, it's the Bauer Elite Bag. I, uh, I just got it, it's a pretty good bag. I used to use a roller bag. I switched to a carry bag. I like it. It has a lot of compartments for skates, uh, tape, and gear and stuff, and I just love it. Okay, first thing we're gonna go to, which is on top, is the pants. Uh, I use the Bauer Hyperlite pants, and they are like I'm a defenseman, but when I use these pants, they just feel so great because I I score a lot of goals. Even though I'm a defense, I skate up a lot. But these feel, they're like, fit great to your body. And you don't have to worry about bagginess or whatever. They just feel great. And they have like mesh on the back end, which makes air flow way better back there and makes it way cooler on the ice. Okay. Hey guys, one more thing I forgot to say in that video is um, for those pants, the reason I said that. I'm a defenseman and all that stuff is because of those pants. Usually the narrow pants are meant for more agile players like forwards and stuff. And I'm a defenseman and usually they don't score as much, but I'm like an offensive defenseman. I score a lot, but I also get back and play D. So just clear that up. Lay those down. Next thing I'm going to go to is shin pads. These are the Bauer 3X shin pads. Just got them. My old shin pads were the CCM uh, Jet Speed something FT4, I think, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, those are my old ones. They cracked. Uh, they cracked right on the knee right here. And, anyways, I like these. They fit really nice to my uh, shin and leg. Uh, I like this with it. You can uh, take out the inner liner, which you can almost do with any other one. Take the liner out, let this air out, and uh, not get as, as wet and sweaty as it does after practice. Anyways, those are the shit pads. I'll just move on to gloves. I use the uh, CCM. Uh, ASVs and these just feel amazing. They have really good protection. I like the palm in this. It's kind of like a uh, kind of like it's fabric. So I mean, it just feels great when you have your stick in your hand and everything. And I just love them. Okay, those are the gloves. Uh, next thing we're going to go to is elbow pads. These are just like your standard elbow pad. They're the CCM FT 475s right there. And they don't, for me, they don't, these ones slide down sometimes, but it's like only if I'm like, uh, got hit or something like really hard or something like that. But uh, besides that, I love these. They're not my favorite but they get the job done. Okay, let's move on. Okay, next thing we got is a uh, chest protector. It is the, I think it's the exact same thing. Yeah, wait, no, it's like a year newer. It's the FT485. These feel pretty good. They have this little, uh, stomach strap you can like removable and stuff like that you guys can see that it's like removable and you can put it back just for a little bit extra protection right there and they feel great they're pretty light nothing's ripped on these yet i've had them for like since the beginning of the season which was in like october but anyways they feel really good i'd recommend them and yeah, they feel pretty great. Okay, the next thing we're gonna move on to is the helmet. So, this is the helmet bag. 
This is the uh, CCM uh, Tax X helmet. It's a pretty good helmet. Well, not just pretty good. I love it. But, uh, anyways, let me get it out of the bag. Okay, so here it is. We got my team logo, my number, which is 96. It's gonna be backwards probably on the camera. And you got the bubble or shield or whatever you wanna call it. This is the CCM uh, Super Tax X. It's got like that uh, spongy, reedy kind of stuff inside, but it feels great. It's got that D3O material inside of it which I love and it's very protective and some people say they don't like this like honeycomb design I love it I think it feels good I feel like if I was bald or something like that it feel different but I got a pretty good amount of hair so it feels pretty great that's the helmet let's move on uh, oh yeah and for the helmet you also added a white stripe on the top of it I think it looks pretty nice if you guys want to add a, like, a stripe to the top of your helmet, just put like a piece of tape and then put sock clear sock tape over it or just get colored sock tape. Pretty easy. Uh, let's go to skates. Okay. So these are the Bauer Vapor 3X skates. At first, like I started two years ago, but then we started becoming a travel team because I play in a place where there's not a lot of hockey. We only have one rink in no league. We have to go all the way up to St. Louis and play. Anyways, uh, these are really good skates. I like them. They're very comfortable. These are the Fit 2 because my foot's like a medium sized. It's not narrow. It's also not super wide. It's just in the middle. Pretty good. I, I got these ones because in the 3x you can get them in different sizes if you go to a different skate in the vapor line and it's anything below these you can only get them in like a dd or an e something i don't really know but anyways yeah and then i got sh uh not shin guards i got um the uh anyways just the blade protector i literally just forgot what they're called but anyways, I need to get some new ones. I'm probably gonna get like some, like ones that you can't walk on or whatever, because I don't really walk on my skates on concrete with this anymore. But anyways, this one's like, stuff is coming out, but uh, it's pretty good. I like it. I've had these for like the whole entire season. Actually probably more than the whole entire season, like the beginning of my first season ever, which is two years ago. But yeah, I'd recommend the shin, I mean the um, skate guards. There we go. That's where they are. It's the skate guards and the skate. They feel great and they're good for tons of players. And also they have that comfort edge thing. I don't know about that comfort edge. It doesn't like, I don't feel like it gives a little bit of cushion, but not as much. I don't really care about that anyways. But yeah, anyways, that's the skates. And those. Then we got just the, uh, hang on, let me cut this in. Then we got the jock. Just your standard Bauer jock. Feels good. Nothing special about it. Uh, then we got the top layer undergarments. It's still sweaty at practice. No, actually a game. It's like a scrimmage game on Monday. And it's this it's just a CCM one I found off of Pure Hockey. It gets the job done. It has like it's inside out right now, but it's got like this grippy thing. So it like it helps your uh pads stick better to like the shirt or whatever and stay on easier. But yeah, pretty good. And after that we got the neck guard. I don't, I play with an guard just to stay safe and stuff. Uh, it's, it has that D3O material in it. Uh, I can actually get it out. Hang on. 
got that D3O inside of it. Very protective. Probably gonna have to move up a size because it's kind of getting small. But I definitely recommend this neck guard. I had another one that was just like a regular CCM one. It was like so bulky and uh, it was really hard to move my neck and stuff. This one, it goes, you go, you put it like this and it has this big flap because it goes under your shoulder pads and it keeps it stick in place. And it's just a good, uh, what do you call it? A good neck guard to have, but yeah, that's my neck guard. Um, now we just got like my rag for my visor and stuff. Oh, okay. We got visor spray. This is very, very, very much needed when you have a bubble. Cause one time I went out on the ice without this and my bubble literally fogged up so much I couldn't see it all. I just had to keep taking it off and on and I couldn't go get it from the locker room and stuff. So get this, I'll put it up close to the camera. It's probably gonna be backwards. But anyways, yeah, I tried Howie's version. It wasn't the best. This one is like the best one that I've tried out. So recommend that. And then we have my mouth guard. It's true custom fit mouth guards. It gets in red. I love this uh, mouth guard company. And you'd think, oh, well, custom mouth guards would cost like a lot of money. It's mouth guards that you get at the store that you just heat up and put to your mouth are like 30, 40 bucks. This one, basically you, s you put a mold on, um, they send you a mold and you put that on your teeth, send the mold back they form it to your teeth. They save it in their files or whatever. And then uh, they send you the mouth guard. And you can customize, you can make it red, you can make it orange, purple, I think. Put your number on it and everything. Uh, it's got the regular red one, but like there's all of my teeth. But the only thing that I don't like about this is that someday I'm gonna get braces and I can't use it with braces. So that's the only bad thing, but I really love this mouth guard. It's amazing it doesn't fall out like a lot of the other ones it's not too bulky but it protects you a lot okay we got that uh this this is my hockey wax it's you i use howie sometimes but i use you wax because it just is very sticky sometimes i like to cheat on like the zero and stuff like that just using it because it's so sticky i can just start doing tricks with it and it just sticks a lot and that's why I like it a lot. I'll use the Howie's like keep the water away and then put this on for some extra tack and grip. Okay, that is, uh, yeah, that's it in my bag. Let's move on to sticks. Okay, so before in my taping video, I had the Nexus sink. And I love that stick, but sadly it broke. So now we have the true hazardous sticks. Got two of them, 55 flex, uh, TC2 blade, which is a P92 in Bauer. And uh, I love this stick so much. I am so glad I switched. I know the Nexus, the Bauer sink, Nexus sink, whatever. Uh, was good i liked it but this one is just incredible like it shoots when you're not expecting it like i'm a defenseman and this is a low kick point stick but i shoot from the blue line and it makes it all the way there because in the game on monday that i said i played in anyways i hit my friend in the hand well i shot the puck from the blue line she reached her hand out and hit her hand and it's kind of swollen and red but she's okay. And anyways, it's just a great stick. And I will do an updated tape job because I updated my tape job recently. But anyways, great stick, would totally recommend. But the only thing is that 
an intermediate and this costs 319 I think and a junior I guess would be I think 200 something but these high dollar sticks are just very expensive but they do have some pretty cool technology because I love this stick it's the hazardous px their lightest weight stick it's very close to the agent that's why i love it and yeah i totally recommend this stick okay then we got my backup sticks and my ski hockey stick the reason you guys might be asking like in the comments after this video i posted and stuff why do you have an agent as your backup stick well this one, it's not really broken, but the blade started feeling funny because in like my first few games with it, I uh, played with it, it was fine. And then after just a scrimmage game, somehow it got a huge chunk taken out of the blade and I have tape on it right now, so it's hard to see, but it took a big chunk out of the blade and it's also a 50 flex, both of these sticks are. And I moved up because I got way too um, strong to be handling this. So this is just my backup, my backup backup stick from the Chews. I still love this stick. It's just I feel like it's not as durable because the lighter sticks get less material, stuff like that. Even though it has that boron stuff in it. But anyways, this is a great stick. I'd still recommend it because of the performance of it and stuff like that. Durability, pretty good. It lasts me. I mean, it's not super good. It lasts me like a month or something. But the sad thing is, is it didn't break kinda when the warranty was. So basically we didn't get a warranty or anything on it or anything. So anyways, that's the agent, my backup backup stick. Then we got the, what is this? The Vapor, uh, Vapor, where does it say it? I think it's a, yeah, Vapor X 3.7. And the reason this is my street hockey stick, it's got the wrap on or anyway, anything and everything, but I mean, the reason it's my backup stick, because it's shaped like a banana. It's literally curved. See, I'm, I'm not gonna show it on camera because it's kind of hard, but this is a 50 flex and it feels like a 30. Look how much that flexes. And I'm barely putting any of my weight on it, which is why we switched sticks and I got this one. It's, and it's just my backup stick, my street hockey stick that I've been using lately, and yeah. So that's all my sticks that I have. Oh, and the reason why it's very, like, flexed like a banana is because a lot of my friends like to flex my sticks, and I hate it, but it turned out to kind of turn into a banana. But anyways, this is just my tape bag, Howie's. Howie's is a great brand of hockey tape, hockey socks, and everything, but, um, yeah, so, I need to get me some Howie scissors, but in here, we got a puck for puck marks on my tape job, Old Spice, Old Spice Swagger, you need this, this is amazing, I love it, um, uh, grip tape in dark blue, I guess sky blue or baby blue. And we got some white in here too. And I just like grip tape because it gives you extra, a little bit of extra grip. A stick when you have it. And then we got sock tape for my skates. And I also use it on my stick, which will be coming up in a new video when I do the um, tape job. We got a bunch of just loaded with Howie's tape from thick tape to just regular I wouldn't say thin okay thin tape and then we got like in this side we got really thin for knobs and stuff you know they're a little clear and then my scissors and a sharpie but yeah that's my Howie's bag and that's what I have to take my stick um well I think that's it guys but I I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and post in the comments if the comments work uh, what you want me to do in my next video. 
Hope you guys like and subscribe and hit that bell. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.